Hello and welcome to another screencast. Today's topic is dealing specifically with screen options. Uh, so screen options help you kind of uh, maintain the tidiness of this columned area you'll find in posts and pages and sometimes custom post types like calendars and so, and so on and so forth. Uh, so there may be often times you'll be met with a lot of different columns and sometimes you want to kind of filter it down so you don't have so much to read and in smaller screens you might start having these columns crunched down uh, pretty narrowly and you want to give them some some air to breathe uh, or there might be times when you're looking for columns that need to be integrated in like the SEO stuff that's not integrated by default so you can kind of see things at a glance like focus keywords and meta descriptions and so on and so forth so that not well publicized feature is up here in the top right corner uh, right down here a little drawer bin and you'll see you have a bunch of check boxes here as you tick them off you'll notice the columns will kind of go away and of course you're you're gaining some more room the more stuff you kind of tick off uh, but yeah you just check the boxes here and it'll allow you to expose new areas uh, and vice versa if you want to remove areas. Uh, and then it also gives you a few extra options. If you have a ton of pages in this example, or in post right now, you can actually increase the number of pages per page. So if you want 200 pages right here, uh, so I can see them all at one glance, you can do that. You can also switch the view mode from list view, which is this, to excerpt view, which will show you a little snippet of what the content looks like in each corresponding post or page. So that's it for screen options. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video or comment below and I'd be happy to answer any questions if you have anything in relation to this. Thanks so much.